Hi guys. I was just thinking today about the difference between the confidence that we have in throwing a lure of whatever type versus what that actually really means. Like, what does it mean to have confidence in a lure? Does that mean that you know that when you throw it, you're going to catch it? No. But it does mean, here's what it does mean. <laughs> it means that you know where to throw it. You know when to use it. You know what the structure looks like. You know what the shade looks like. You know what the sun looks like. You know what the bottom of the lake looks like or a river or whatever. That's the confidence in what you're throwing. So one way to get confident in that obviously is to spend time on the water. But another way to get confident in that is by doing something that a friend of mine taught me and it was to more or less, and then of course encompassing the things that I know to be true with like my instincts and intuition. But what the friend had suggested was like, do what feels good in the hands. Um, and I kind of took that and ran with it because sometimes I need to be doing something with my hands. Sometimes I need to be doing something with my head. Sometimes I need to be doing something with my heart. <laughs> you see where I'm going? Like you're using your instincts to use the lure that you're confident in. So when you're on your body of water and you're studying the area or what it is that you're working with, also ask yourself, like, what are you working with? <laughs> um, how do you feel today? Do you need to bait cast it out 50 times before you decide you want to go to the drop shot? <laughs> you know? Or do you want to get in touch with your senses and feel the bottom of the lake because you're not sure what it entails? So maybe you throw a bait caster out there. I mean, a, uh, I'm sorry, crankbait is what I meant. Maybe you throw a crankbait out there to see if there's any weeds. And if not, if you didn't, you know, if there's nothing in the middle of the lake, of the water, then maybe you throw a top water or maybe you throw something that you can drag on the bottom. So you're covering all these different depths. But the reason is because you might need that slow patience. You might need to chill and breathe. And when I get like that, that's <laughs> probably when I do need to drop shot because that's when I bite. I get a bite is when I'm chilling. Like I just need to sit there and chill and throw in a drop shot and, and drink some water and sit down. <laughs> and then I get a bite or I'm throwing a crankbait because I need to crank it out. I really need to, to crank the whatever I'm feeling out. <laughs> so... Um, I know that like a traditional fisher person might not look at fishing in this way, but it's why I fish. And I know that traditional fisher people fish because it makes them happy. It's their happy place. It's their wellness. They don't maybe call it that, which is <laughs> so funny because it is indeed the epitome of the wellness on water. So um, just the basics, uh, that's <laughs> kind of where I'm coming from in a nutshell. So I hope that you guys can take something from that and maybe learn in a new technique because you didn't think to throw it for that reason or use it for that reason. 